Hello, this is uh, Tuesday, July 19. Uh, greetings from Ottawa. I hope you're doing well. Uh, right now, I'm going to show you what has been going on in the lab uh, for about uh, the past uh, few weeks. So, first of all, we're going to start with the, with the experiment results. So, like I said, I have uh, 12 samples. In fact, it's just 11 because the, the 12 sample here is the, the same as the sample number 11. Uh, in composition, so we start with sample 2. So today I analyzed with Paul a bit the samples uh, and uh, it turned out that uh, it was like I thought the sample number, all the red samples are below 10 nanometers with the exception of maybe one sample. I think it's this sample here. Um, so the sample number 6 was the smallest sample in size. It was about 3, 4, 5 nanometers, something like that. Uh, I'm not sure exactly until I received the images. But uh, it appeared indeed that was below 5 nanometers, this one right here. So um, sample number 2 and 3 were also good, were uh, about 5, 6 nanometers, something like that. So in general, the red samples were good. Um, so um, the green gold was uh, not that good, actually. I'm not sure if we tested it, but uh, it appears like the size is not that uh, small. But we know that the blue gold, the blue gold has a huge size. If you see the... The transmitted color is blue, but as you look like the reflected color is brown. This one has a above 50 nanometer size, I believe. Um, so uh, I also uh, I also what I read from a paper is that as you increase in NOH concentration, uh, this, the nanoparticle size uh, should actually uh, decrease, which is uh, quite the opposite what I found because sample right here which is done with um, in ethylene glycol and it was about 0.1 molar in NaOH was actually sample number six was actually the smallest size and when I tried higher NaOH concentrations in thought of reducing the nanoparticle size what I did actually was to create this kind of uh, violet color you see and this is a this is a big size so yeah, actually, um, they're either lying in the papers or uh, <laughs> uh, maybe there's something uh, because the, it does not, uh, it, it's not in accordance with uh, the results coming from the papers I've read. So um, what what's going on right now is, like you said, I have to deposit this some way. Z, I'm going to find out which one uh, which one is the best. So sample number six is the best. So. Um, just first of all, sample number six is ethylene glycol NaOH, 0.01 molar concentration, reflux with uh, saturated in PVP. So um, I guess this is uh, my model that I'm going to use now with NaBH4. Now I've talked to the um, I've talked uh, to the research group which invented the NaBH4 method, uh, the NaBH4 reduction method, and what they say is that. Um, with this method, they're not really able to uh, make smaller size than 3.2 nanometers. So uh, I think it would be pretty much pointless to order an ABH4 at this point because I already I can already achieve such a size with uh, with sample six. So uh, I think that PVP uh, PVP with ethylene uh, with ethylene glycol is, uh, is it can achieve a three nanometer size. So um, I believe that. Uh, as long as the method does not uh, make smaller than 3 nanometers, it will be pretty much pointless to try another method because uh, it will not really yield much smaller size. So, um, like you said, I have to deposit it on YZ. So, once I deposit on YZ, uh, I'll, have, I'll, uh, I'll try heterocatalysis first. And then, if I have time, I'll try uh, electrochemical analysis, uh, electrochemical catalysis. So, right now, uh, what's going on here is uh, I've put up a little experiment to demonstrate. So, my choice of reactor is a PFR reactor. Uh, it is, in, in fact, it's just, a, it's just a reflux tube that I'm using. So the gas will flow up from here and go through the coil, which will be inside the furnace, and exit right here, go into the GC, which is actually the blue GC connected to the computer. So what I'm going to do is Right here I have a nanoparticle, coal nanoparticle about uh, 5 nanometers. So um, the coal nanoparticles are going to be uh, deposited inside the coil, just uh, like with YSZ, but I'm going to demonstrate with, um, 
with the colloid. So you see how it goes and I put the beaker and it drops into the beaker like that and uh, this will uh, go inside the, uh, inside the furnace and once it's dried up I will throw the gases and I will make the, the um, ethylene oxidation uh, measurements at different temperatures and also when I have the, the oxidation values for the different temperatures I'll be able to calculate the activation energy of the reaction using uh, Arrhenius approximation. So um, after the experiment once I have tested a catalyst through the PFR reactor the way I'm going to decontaminate the glassware is through use of aqua regia. So aqua regia will be poured on top like this. And what it's going to do is going to flow through the PFR and it's going to dissolve the gold. It's actually one of the rare acid mixtures that can actually dissolve gold. So um, once aqua regia is uh, poured on top, what I can do is just pour water to neutralize the acid and also clean the glassware. So as you can see the aquaregia is gone and right now I have a uh, glassware that's uh, ready to use after the total rinsing. So this is how the reactor works. Thank you for watching the video and uh, greetings from uh, Ottawa and I wish you the best. See ya.